Hi everyone, welcome to Low Carb Revelation. Today I am gonna be making keto low carb crepes. I have been researching crepes like crazy recently. I wanted to come up with a good recipe and I tried a few that I found online and I ended up just tweaking a couple of different recipes and making it my own. That's what I do usually when I make recipes. I will take a few recipes that I find online and I try them, I tweak them, then I end up coming up with my own. So this is a recipe that I came up with from a couple of different recipes that I just kind of combined some of the different measurements together. And this one works for me, it came out great. So I have a disclaimer here. I am not a professional crepe maker, especially when it comes to that part over there where I have to flip it on the stove. I think if you've seen some of my other videos in the past where I've made omelets, I have omelet fails almost every time I make omelets. When it comes to the flipping part, I don't know what it is, but I always seem to mess it up. So I am a little bit nervous when I go over there to the stove and I show you how I cook the crepe, but this batter is forgiving and it is delicious. So I don't really look at the appearance, I go by the taste. Well, I am now gonna go ahead and show you how I make the batter for these keto low carb crepes. Okay, so here I have my ingredients and everything goes into a blender. So that makes it very easy and it's great for cleanup. The recipe makes two 10 inch crepes. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it together. This is four eggs. I'm gonna be putting in a half a teaspoon of Redmond salt, a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just gonna eyeball it here. I have here some Knox gelatin. You can use any kind of gelatin that you like. This is what I have right now. There's a couple other brands that I am wanting to try, but I'm waiting till I get through this canister to try a couple of different ones, but this is just plain gelatin. I'm sorry, that was two tablespoons of gelatin. I'm gonna actually put the ingredients down in the show notes so you can check that out. And then I am gonna be putting in two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. You can actually use almond milk in here instead of the heavy whipping cream. I tried it with both and I liked the heavy whipping cream one the best. Just powdered sweetener, I'm gonna be putting a tablespoon in. This is, I believe, the Lakanto powdered sweetener. The lid is going on. I'm just gonna blend this for about a minute. It's probably about 30 seconds. So you're just gonna blend it until all of the ingredients are mixed together. And the batter is gonna be very liquidy. That's how it's supposed to look. So now we are gonna head over to the stove. Okay, this was the part I told you I was most nervous about. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my burner here. This is a very nice crepe pan. I got this on Amazon. I will link it down below. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray just a little bit of avocado oil spray onto the pan. And I like to just rub in a little bit. You don't have to do that, but it tends to just stay in one spot. So I like to kind of smear it around. And I'm gonna let this heat up until it gets hot. And I have my batter here. This is gonna make two of these crepes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put about half of this batter into this crepe pan. I just like to do it like in a little circle. And then I just do the fun part and just swirl it around in the pan. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cook until the batter is completely dry on top. And so it takes a couple minutes for that. And this is the scary part for me, you guys. I'm worried that I'm gonna have a major fail here. You can see that the batter is dry on this. This is how I do it. I probably should watch some videos on how to flip crepes, but I just do it like this. And then I just flip it and then I just flatten it out. I usually, I am almost always come up with some holes in it, but that's okay. I am not gonna let it ruin my day. And so as soon as this is brown on the bottom like this, I just take a plate and I just flip it right onto the plate. That stove is very hot. There is my first crepe. I'm gonna go ahead and make the other one. Maybe this one will come out better and I can cut out the first one. 
So it starts to cook up pretty fast. So you wanna hurry up and do the little swirl. A couple little spots here. I don't know if you see those brown spots, but I think that is the gelatin. It didn't get mixed in very good. I think some of it settled at the bottom of the blender. So I should have probably went for the whole minute on my blender. A little bit shiny in the center. I'm going for a more duller look. So I'm just gonna let it go for a few more seconds before I attempt flipping it. Let's try this again, shall we? Ah, this one might be a little better, you guys. Look at that. See, the more I do it, I feel like I'm getting it more and more. I am gonna go ahead and flip this guy on this plate and voila, look at that. I am impressed. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I fill this with. Um, you could fill these with a cream cheese filling. You could fill them with whipped cream. You could do whatever you like. But I wanna use my fun new gadget. This thing is awesome. I've already filled this once and used it once and it is delicious. This makes whipped cream like you buy in a can, but you can control your ingredients and it tastes way better. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. There's a little fill line here. I am going to use heavy whipping cream. This is just more heavy whipping cream. I ran out of the other. I'm gonna add this until I get to the fill line, which is, I'm almost there. I really should measure how much it is and do it that way, but. Okay, so I've got this filled to this little fill line and I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract to this. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of my powdered sweetener to this. And then I'm just gonna put the lid on. I had to buy these separately. I bought a box of 50 of these little cartridges. This is what puts air into your container so it's pressurized. And I bought a box of 50 of these. This is only good for one time use. So this will make one can and once you are done and it's empty, then you have to use a new one. So this little cartridge just goes into here and then you just screw it into here and you will hear the air pressure filling the can, okay? And then I have this, this came with several different tips. This is the one that I like for the crepes. Put that on. And this all of a sudden got really cold. The air pressure makes it really cold. Now I'm gonna shake this up just like you would a uh, can of whipped cream that you buy from the store. And when I'm done using this, I just put it in the refrigerator like this and I have it for the next time I need it. I do recommend to take this off and rinse it after you use it so it doesn't get clogged up. I'm just gonna take this. Look at that, isn't that fun? Wow, a lot comes out. <laughs> that is awesome. Blueberries here, you could do strawberries, raspberries, whatever you want. Fill it up, fold this into a crepe. This is huge, two people could probably eat this. I have a little um, strainer here and I am just gonna put a little bit of my powdered sweetener on top. Got a little tap happy right there. And I'm just gonna garnish with a couple of more blueberries. And there you have it, a low carb keto crepe. So I made it through the flipping part. I was really nervous about that. And like I said, this makes a really big crepe, okay? And you could split this. You could eat it all on your own if you want or you can also use a smaller crepe pan. I think I'm gonna be looking on Amazon for that same crepe pan and see if I can find a smaller one. I think that I would like more like a six inch one because I don't know, if I'm eating this for breakfast and I wanna have a crepe and maybe some bacon or some sausage or something with it, it would just be way too much. But this is my keto crepe and I love my recipe. And really, if you think about it, this crepe is only made with two eggs because I used four eggs to make two of these so really, it's almost like eating a two egg omelet that is sweet. And um, I think I went a little bit heavy on the heavy whipping cream, but I have to learn how to control that little gadget that I got. 
and I think that part will be better. But I'm gonna go ahead and try this for you. This batter recipe is very light and fluffy. So that is my crepe recipe. I am gonna link all of my ingredients down below in the show notes. So you can go down there and print the recipe if you want. I'm gonna go for now. Make sure you give me a thumbs up for this video because it really helps out my channel and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching and God bless.